Hello everyone, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we will be reacting to Five Years Later. It's a crossover series that someone made, uh, and um, I'm going to be reacting to episode 1 and episode 2 in this video. I hope you all enjoy, and let's get into this. Here we are, where we have episode 1 and episode 2 here. Um, you, y'all go, uh, subscribe to the Ink Tank, and leave a like on their video, show them all the support, before you watch this, go watch that first, just, cause, this, this isn't, this, I didn't make this, so, they deserve all the support, um, we're, let's look at the, uh, description, episode one, uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> Um, Danny Phantom, five years after retiring from his teenage heroics, helps his father with his latest passion project, cross-dimensional travel. Um, and yeah, the, uh, we got Danny Phantom, Ben Tennyson, um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into this. Um, remember, subscribe, like, check the original, check the original before you watch my reaction because I will be pausing sometimes. I probably will pause a lot, maybe, to like explain my thoughts and stuff. So let's get into this. Full screen, yes. Okay, I thought it was messing up a bit. Okay. My name is Danny Fenton. Fenton. I'm twenty years old. I live with my two ghost hunting parents in Amity Park. They're I've... the world's leading sub- Oops. Um, what did I do? Did I, pr I think I turned the captions on. Um, no. I don't need captions, because, like, it's all right there. But, um, I have not watched Danny Phantom in <sighs> such a long time. Uh, same thing with Benton, because I saw Benton was in this. Um, I have not watched Benton in such a long time. I haven't even finished, like, even the newer series and stuff, like, Dan and Phantom, I've watched all of, but, like, for Ben 10, which ha is still getting, uh, like, there's still episodes coming out for that, I'm pretty sure, for, like, different, um, Ben 10s or whatever. Pretty sure there's still episodes coming out, so, like, I've not seen them. I've seen some, like, different ones, like, the Omniverse, I think. I've seen some of that, um, I don't know. I've watched here and there of a bunch of different episodes and stuff. I tried to start watching it from the beginning, but I got distracted and forgot. Scientist in Ecto Energy Technology. When I was 14, I was in this sort of accident that gave me ghost powers. I could walk through walls, disappear, fly, and a whole bunch of other stuff too. With them, I became the ghost. Wait, you got ice powers? Man, I must have not watched it in a while. Like, I knew you could do the Ghosted Whale, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. Um, Ghost Sense, yeah, I remember that for sure. Um, Energy Construction, I think I've seen that before. But the Ice Powers, um, I have not seen. Fighting superhero, Danny Phantom. Keeping the secret from my folks was almost as hard as saving the day. Turns out... Decades before me, the same accident happened to my dad's old lab partner, Vlad Masters. But he decided to use his power for evil, eventually becoming my arch nemesis, Vlad Plasmius. <laughs> One day, the cosmic comet we called the Disasteroid was headed towards Earth, forcing us to reveal our secret identities to save everyone. But Vlad wanted full global dictatorship in return for his help. The world saw Vlad for who he really was, and when his plan backfired, he was left stranded in space. He's now banished from Earth, and has been missing ever since. A lot has changed since then. My sister Jazz moved away for college. My best friend Tucker is now the youngest mayor of our city. Wow. And my fiance Sam? She travels the world hosting peace rallies. It was hard to say goodbye, but I guess the simple life was more me anyways. Instead, I help my dad with his projects at Fenton Works. But what we work on the most is his greatest invention, 
the ghost portal. Okay. Ghost portal. We use it to travel between the ghost zone and our Yeah, world. that's what it's called. It's what gave me my powers in the first place. After the disasteroid, every officer is now armed with Fenton tech. So we can handle any threat that may come. Now that ghost hunting is obsolete, my dad needed a new hobby. Cross-dimensional travel. He believed if the ghost portal can access one alternate dimension, <laughs> why not try more, right? Yeah. But over That's time, well, I guess he gave up. Since then, he's not really been the same. But I didn't want to let my dad down. I started to study all of his notes. After a period of time of hard work... Sorry, I don't know what to say. I'm trying not to... A bunch of stuff uh, that I don't really understand. I managed trying to not to... A different kind of energy. Like, energy I've never used. trying not to, like, steal video here and, like, not talk over it. I just don't know what to say. Seen before. Um... Before I told my dad, I wanted to make sure it really worked. I couldn't let him down. Not now. So I decided to explore it myself. Oh, he got... He got something. I ended up somewhere I later came to know as the Null Void. Null Void. It was creepy. Never heard of that That's before. coming from me. But of mm. course, something went wrong. Is the Null... Is the Null Void Remember what? part of Vincent's universe? No, I'm pretty sure it said, like... Uh, Benton's creatures who ended with their voice by. Felt like forever. The Spectre Speeder started to run out of power. Because I haven't Found watched this old in a while, so I don't on, know inside. if the Null Void is part of it. I figured there had to be something inside that could help. Huh? That's about when he showed up. This is my story. Okay. Oh, wow, they got an intro and everything? Cool. So it's all about. Oh, so, yeah, this is the one Omniverse. The, I'm guessing that's this bit because it has that. It had that one dude. So it's only those two. I thought uh, by it being crossover series that it was gonna have more uh, series added, but it's just those two maybe, or maybe the more will get added on. Maybe I don't know. That's a cool logo, though. Episode one: Alienate, uh, Alienated. The no voice. My protocol was picking up large amounts of unknown energy from his body, the same as it recorded from the vehicle outside. No surprise there. A walking nuke caught red-handed in the Proctor's old hideout. He's got to be with the Rooters. Unlikely. The plumbers made it illegal to relaunch the Rooters project after Proctor Cervantes was arrested. Eh, whatever. I'm still gonna kick his butt. It's hero time! Oh, yep. That's Swampfire species, um, methonation, I don't know. Abilities, plant powers, and fire powers. Yeah. Sounds about right. I know, but hey, it was my first real fight in a long time, and now a big blue cat and a flaming tree are attacking me. <laughs> big blue cat, uh, and a flaming tree, yeah. Gotta think fast. Haven't you heard you shouldn't light fires indoors? But since you started it, <clears throat> something tells me that won't hold him for long. What so the I hell? I better gear up. I'm going ghost. Going one. Ha! I still got it. Oh, uh, well, he's there by himself. Spectral traces. An ecto neurite. Those Still don't remember the ice thing. That, I probably am going to have to watch this all over again because I don't remember ice. Yeah. 
Now seeing the shield, it might, I don't know, like his ghost abilities, I don't remember very well. Nice shot, Rook. I believe I have identified our intruder. Ice powers. Some type of fake chill, I know. Actually, I have found ectoplasmic elements from the blast he fired at you moments ago. Think he's some kind of alien hybrid? Perhaps Cervantes somehow escaped and is experimenting on a new group of children. Well, now that you mention it, he is a little old for the problem, huh? <laughs> Ugh, damn it. I got him. <laughs> Whoa, is that the same guy? What the hell? Ghost Freak! Oh, oh Ghost Freak. I remember Ghost Freak, yeah. Ghost Freak, Ecton Riot, I don't know. Phasing, Telekinesis, Spooky, and Scary. <laughs> is that really an ability? Um, Didn't he not? Well, I must have really forgot. Uh, the Angel Phantom very much, cause like, can you not go, f like, through stuff when he's in this form? Cause I know he can go through stuff when he's in his normal human self, I thought he couldn't do it in this form, cause like, if that thing's going after him, couldn't he, like, turn visible? I don't know, like I said, I have not watched it in a while, so, I don't know. Uh, I can't face. Oh, yeah, so he can. You're not going to like this, then. Well, this is going to sting a bit. Y'all have to explain to me. It's like I said, I have not watched these in a while. Echo, echo. Echo, echo. I remember echo, echo. Echo, echo. So, I'm not even going to try duplication and sonic screen. Yeah, I remember those. I might have to watch these again, like these two uh, fandoms. I really like the, Did it work? them. Undetermined, but it appears your sonic attack has woken up one of the Null Void's inhabitants. Really? Which one? Oh, that one. Oh, wait, moly. <laughs> well, Jet, Ray. Jet Ray. Now I'm gonna worry about reading the species. Nero Shock and Fast in Air and Sea. Hey, look, tag in. You find the ghost boy. I'll take the way bad. <laughs> Sir, I am attempting to arrest you. It's huge. That is a mutated Toku star. Our world was invaded using these beasts, so we sent them here in the Null Void to contain them. So they're bad news. Got it. How's it going on your end, Rook? He is attempting to pursue the Toku star. What? Really? Dude! What's your angle? Look, I came here by accident. Now I'm just trying to help. We can finish duking it out later. <laughs> well, if you're serious, aim for the frill on the top of the head. It's a blind spot. Hmm. What are you gonna do? Something cool. Uh, this should be fun then. Just don't hold back and try not to get in my way. Ego much? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I, I'm definitely have to watch these, because I, I don't know, these fandom, these, like, series are amazing, and such childhood to me. Feedback, Feedback uh, drains energy for electric attacks. Energy's overflowing inside me! I've got to inject it upwards! Stay low! <laughs> okay. I had a better idea. 
What are you gonna do? That, that is just better. Yeah. Okay, that works. Got any <laughs> more surprise ideas? I don't know. Hit it again. Gladly. They work good. They work good together. trying to act like fix something else. Uh, vibration, drills, and hard shell. Don't remember this one. The, every other one I've remembered. I don't remember this one. Yeah, I don't remember this guy. Oh, wait. I'm, actually, I think I do remember him now. I think I used to have, like, a toy of him. I think so. Because he had, like, little drills. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Well, they... they they got him. Yep. So, uh, thanks for the assist. Are we cool? Yeah, sure. We're cool. You alright, dude? Don't tell me I went too hard on you back there. Yeah, I'm fine. Just haven't been too liberal with my powers lately. Can't really do too many big moves in a row. Yeah, been there. It sucks. Still, you did pretty good out there. Um... Denny Phantom. And you are? Wait, you don't recognize me? Uh, no. Should I? I was actually gonna ask you the same thing. Really? How's that work? Well, for one, there's a giant statue of me holding the earth over my head in the capital of every country. Prove it. I am sorry, but this image must have been doctored. There are no recorded sightings, blueprints, or any historical archives of these installments. In fact, I cannot find any record of you at all. Talk. And so, I told them everything. That is quite an interesting tale. Looks like my dad's inventions work yet again. So this is the null void, huh? Hmm. I take it this isn't your dimension either. Nah, it's where we used to keep intergalactic criminals. Now it's more like an anarchy. It's kind of awesome, but no, Rook and I are from Earth. My Earth. If this isn't your Earth, why are you here? <laughs> that big floating metal thing you parked your ship on? That was the evil layer of some guy we took out a few years ago. When you entered, an alarm was set off, so we had the plumbers teleport us in. Plumbers? A code name for our alien police force. You'll get used to it. Come on, we'll take you back and see how we can help you. So hmm. this cross-dimensional stuff is just a regular thing for you here. Literally, dude, you have no idea. <laughs> Tell me this. You're a ghost, right? Well, half ghost. Half ghost? How can you be half ghost? Does that mean you're like half dead? It's complicated. <sighs> Lukic, Dreba, please prepare the guest room. We have another one. Ben and Rook took me back to Plumber HQ until they could figure out how to help me get back home. But getting home yeah. turned out to be the least of my problems. Yeah, kind of figured. This was only the beginning. Uh, Finally, after all this time, I'm home. Alright, okay, already. Uh, first episode was already amazing. I can't do the next episode. <laughs> That was already. I okay. Um, okay. Next episode. Uh, let me make sure it's on it. Just to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Had to make sure. Uh, oh, is it an episode three? Well, then we'll react to episode three. It. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. Um, cause like these videos are like not long. I think this one was nine minutes. I don't know how long this one is. Depends on how long this one is. We'll see. Okay, so yeah, this one uh is also nine minutes. So I might react to episode three also. I didn't read this before. I should have. Content warning: This following episode contains 
themes not suitable for young audience. Okay, I should have read that. Uh, yeah, so if you're watching this and you're young, don't watch this, I guess. Um, five years later is not an official property of the Ben 10 franchise owned. Yeah, kind of figure. Um, but yeah, let's get into episode two. It's only fair if I get to tell my side of the story, too. My name is Ben Tennyson, or more famously, Ben 10. That's my partner, Magister yeah. Rook Blanco. Rook He's Blanco. An yeah. I was 10 years old when I found the Omnitrix. So the Omniverse is that like? Cause I'm pretty sure there's like different bands. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that it's like because I know there's like, like past Ben has met like future Ben before. I don't remember how. I it's been like like I said it's been a while so I don't know. Could be wrong. Y'all can explain it to me. Um, uh, best y'all can. Cause I will probably end up watching the whole Benton again and same thing with Danny Phantom. I end up watching them again. It gave me the power to change between 10 different alien heroes. Well, 10 at first. Over time, I unlocked a lot more. Yeah. And now with master control, it's hard to count. Rook and I work with my grandpa Max and the plumbers, fighting evil aliens across the whole galaxy. There's my cousin, Gwendolyn, professor and protector of Friedkin University. She's been studying sorcery for over a decade. Yeah. Now she teaches it. And my best friend, Kevin Levin. We were enemies as kids, but he's cool now. Mostly. Atoms <laughs> want matter, energy, and DNA for some yeah, freaky combinations. I, I remember that. When the world's not in danger, I teach my own recruits at the Plumbers Academy. They call themselves the Orion Squad. I guess you could say... Is that, like, a natural thing? Or is that for this? Y'all have to explain it to me. Cause like I said, I don't, I haven't got that far into the Omniverse series, so if that's a natural thing, I definitely want to continue because I want to see that. But if that isn't a thing, then okay. My life is pretty awesome. It's hero time. But life wasn't always this easy. The Omnitrix being used as oh, a play. I remember that guy lost good people you are ben tennyson you can do anything i've made many mistakes one more should do it i've even held the universe in my hands and things are only gonna get a lot yeah see a lot of this stuff i don't remember this i only remember the, like the first thing that you mentioned went that was said I, I like the theme. But the lonely ghost. Oh, this guy. My own people. Turned against me. <sighs> I guess this is what I deserve. Yep. That's laboratory. My first breath of air in years. It's euphoric. Oh, Jack. College 26 years ago. Okay.
depressing, isn't it? I am in no condition for a fight. Just take what you want. It's nothing to me now. Who is that? Your belongings are meaningless. I am here for you, Vladimir. Now listen closely. I don't mm. like repeating myself. You have no idea how often I have to do that. Are you asking for my help? It pains me to say I need it. In return, I offer you your strength. Wait, what are you? How did you? I am what some refer to as a time walker. The bounds of time and space to me are nothing more So is this like a handmade character? Control. Is it actually someone? However, there is a cost. A cost in which I am tired of pain. And you, Vladimir, are the perfect pawn that I need. You seem pretty powerful on your own. Why would you need me? My days of violence are over. That path has left me with nothing. Unfortunately, unmetaphorically. Even if you okay. had a chance of revenge against a certain phantom. I lived my life on the path of revenge. Now I homeless. We know he's gonna join Lloyd and alone. It's obvious he's gonna be someone that's gonna end up joining. Nothing means there is nothing to lose. You see these lands, you've achieved so much in this world, and yet this world still rejected you. They denied your right to lead them in brilliance. If I succeed, I can give you the entire universe to lead. There will be no one to turn you away. Why? you give me the whole universe Cause what about you he's evil. what do you gain from this oh with my agenda i can spare a single universe for your empire i am after something much <laughs> bigger so that must be like a main character ads of course <laughs> Okay. Making sure I'm recording. Yeah, I am. The, the only way I can tell if I'm recording, when I'm in full screen, the only way I can tell I'm recording is if I get a full screen and I see if there's like a red dot near my, uh, by my, the thing I used to record. That's the only way I can tell. Thank you, Zach. We will let you know if we need anything else. Zach, you called the Saturdays? The Saturdays family bloodline has connections with some of the original plumbers, back when their focus was on supernatural instead of alien. I requested any files they had on ghosts. Meanwhile, Gwendolyn is researching cross-dimensional okay. spells to aid us. For what? If we can construct a portal that taps into ghost energy, we could access the ghost zone. If I can get to the ghost zone, I can get back to my Earth. That sounds awesome! Can I come? It'd be cool to see a whole universe filled with ghosts. <laughs> well, not exactly. It's hard to explain. The ghost zone is like a dimension between dimensions. Wow. Yeah. What flavor is this? Don't tell me you don't like smoothies. By the way, you were pretty good back there in the null void. How long you been heroing? Actually, I don't do much of it anymore. I mean, I did my part when the world needed me, but my life is on a different path now. And I feel like I've grown out of it. I don't think I'd be ready to get back into it even if I wanted to. What are you talking about? Being a hero isn't something you just lose. You just gotta get back in the game. I am going to continue my research on this ghostly energy. Uh, Mr. Phantom, once we are in the ghost zone, how do you expect to get home? Because I have this. You just always carry that around with you? <laughs> the ghost zone allows for guided interdimensional travel. If I enter the ghost zone, this map will show me the way to a rift that leads back to my dad's lab. There is one problem. We have no idea how to make a ghost portal. But we do. No, we don't. <laughs> but we will. I remember these two. Probably not. <laughs> have they been here this whole time? This is Blukic and Driva of the Galvin. They are considered among the smartest beings in many galaxies. We'll get started on that ghost portal of yours once Gwendolyn arrives. Commander Tennyson! Info report! Permission to intrude! 
Relax, Lula. I'm off duty. What's up? A security threat was sent from Teleporter A to Plumber HQ. That's Grandpa Max's old shop. Why aren't the security drones handling it? Deactivate it. And the on-duty attack squad? The threat level exceeded my privileges, so I came directly it? to you. Thanks for the info, Lula. Danny and I will go check it out. Uh, we will? This is your chance, dude. You ready to go ghost again? I'm coming too. No, Lula. I need you to stay here and keep the others in line. If the threat level's that high, it's important that the base is secure. Understand? Relax. We'll be back in ten. Oh, uh, it's this guy. Hello, Daniel. What's it been? Five years? Ah, oh, great. I knew he was going to accept it. I already knew that. Wow, that one felt... I don't know why the last one felt longer. This one felt shorter for some reason. Maybe because I was that interested in it. Um, I guess... Uh, go to episode 3. Is there an episode 4? Yeah, no, an episode 4 is an appearing. I'll check after I finish this episode, but also an ad, so, of course. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. Let's see what this, um, what, this is, see what's happening now. Because they're also about to have to fight this dude. Hello? Teleporter, um, uh, Max Plumbing. Teleporter A, Max Plumbing. Bellwood, New York. Oh, Daniel. What's it been? Five years? Yeah. That's Vlad Plasmius. But I came to this dimension alone. He shouldn't be here, too. A vampire named Vlad? That's original. Ghost, not vampire. And he has all my powers, too. Oh, I have more than just your powers. <laughs> Dude, seriously? Hey! Hmm. <laughs> Interesting device. I wonder if my universe has a version of it. Why don't you let me go when I can show you what it can do, you blue bald freak? <laughs> oh, what a foul mouthed delinquent. Do you expect me to loosen my grip and let you just fly out of here? Technically. Nope. I'm gonna kick you in the face first. <laughs> yeah. And he, who's gonna turn into this time? Sling shot! Another one I don't remember. Slingshot. Very stretchy, self... Well, actually, I remember the drill dude, because I remember I had a toy with him. I'm pretty sure it was him. But this one I definitely don't remember, because I don't remember a character that's stretched. Very stretchy, self-explanatory, yeah. Going up! Forearm! Okay, I know forearms from the original, but I don't remember him looking like this. Again, this could just be their version of him, since he's aged. But if this is actually how he looks, I don't remember this then. I don't remember him. I remember him back, uh, from the first one, of course. But uh, very strong. Four times the fun. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't really that easy. Stronger than he looks. Yeah. I actually want to see what these are. Okay, we got uh the, his, when he first when he first got the watch, we got this uh series which I think I've seen not much of this one actually because I don't even remember what the name of this one was. Uh, and then we got the Omniverse. We got this, which. I think this is before these two knew about him being it, maybe? I don't remember. Uh, this is... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Since... I don't know, because... I just don't know. Well, I'm just gonna, let's just continue. Because I don't know about those three. Let's go back, actually. So, yeah, this is... The evil team, which I, I'm pretty sure this one, I think, I don't know. 
these, I don't know if any of these are like fan made or if they're actually part of Ben 10 or Danny's universe. Then we have all these people. Oh my god. I, I still love this intro, it's really good. Reunion, episode 3. Too, my dear boy. Never call me that. How did you get here? How are you even alive? Hmm, questions for another time. Shall we continue this little dance of ours? Stop joking around. We he should ain't gonna stop. I thought you were finally gone this time. Looks like I'll have to fix that problem myself. Oh, such harsh words, Daniel. Even in my absence. You grow more like me each day. I will never be like you! Whoa. That has to be just for this. That is, I don't remember him ever doing something like that. I don't remember this at all. So this must have been just because of this. The new ghost power, too. Yeah, so well, that you was just because of this. Your phantom flame? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Since we are greeting each other with new surprises... Slampede uh, runs to char runs to charge heavy headbutts. Don't remember this one either. That's my ghostly whale! How did you learn to do that? Five years alone, isolated in space with nothing but my thoughts. Five years. Right. Don't don't think there's much you can do. I don't think he's gonna die this fast. Clearly, he's gonna be a reoccurring villain. That version. I know there is a Chris do, but I don't remember in that version. Absorbs and redirects energy. Mm. He, he can't absorb his energy, yeah. Yeah, you don't. Who that was close? Nice reflexes. That was real close. <laughs> ads. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I get it. They do need ads because they need ads because it's like I'm pretty sure that's how they get paid is people watching their ads. The ads that appear, or could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know much about YouTube and how it works. So yeah, but anyway. What is that? Chromastone should have been able to deflect it. Ecto energy. All ghost powers come from it. it. Doesn't completely match anything in my files. It's almost unreadable. Up and he's breaking out. So, no ideas then? I've got an alien that might do the trick, but I've already underestimated Vlad once. Yeah. I'm gonna run ahead and clear the civilians. Is this the running one? Yep. I remember this guy. Super fast and sharp claws. Yeah, I remember this guy. Here, take this. It's an open terrain just outside of town. Buy me some time, then signal me when there's an opening. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, you might want to be careful, people. There's a fight going on. Five years away, and the first thing you do is terrorize a city? You haven't changed at all. Yeah, you really all right. think I'm some one-track-minded fool solely driven by villainy? <laughs> you have a lot to learn about me. I think well, he knows you well. Loop, so does that count? Uh oh. And now I have to deal with that. That looks bad. Wait up! Strong and fast. Yep. Well, oh, I think you made it in time. Whew. I think I need. I. Uh, hey, Mr. Tennyson. Fancy seeing you here. Thanks for saving me. Cool alien. Mind if I get a picture? I... Say, Omnitrix. I... I've not... Ben 10! Stop Ben! Oh, look, it's Ben 10! Uh-oh. There's no Omnitrix. I can't see. No way. Mr. Rome is telling you think Ben 10 knows about him. Get back! Get close! Are you sure? Oh, great. Focus, Danny! What's going on? Sorry. Yes, I'm a little drained. <laughs> oh, great. You're fighting blindly. <laughs> you need to study your opponent. Easier said than done. That relies heavily on defense and strategy. So, wait, what happened? Manipulating the fighter to his favor so he doesn't have to try. <sighs> so, if I took his defense away from him, I could time this right. Wait, wait, what do you do? Oh, that. I can just go straight to you? That's interesting. Wait, what is it doing? It's a sword. It can turn to a sword now? What? When? Okay, that's definitely just because of this. I, right, I know buddy. that thing can Try never turn to a sword. Go. You got it. Oh, never mind. Oh, you got him. Using an energy compressor to make your constructs denser than mine. Fascinating. Yeah. You actually startled me. Not so easy when you're not in control of the battle. Oh, please. I only need time. You've got, what, two, maybe three minutes left before you drain yourself? Uh. Ben, are you there? We're in the spot. I can't hold him off any longer. I expected more from you by now. You're Didn't you hear that? Than when we <laughs> last met. Guess not. Oh, don't tell me that you've given up your heroics to bum around with your idiotic father. He's not an idiot. If it wasn't for him, neither one of us would even have these powers. <laughs> oh, yes. Nearly killing your own son. What a scientific breakthrough! However, you and I are only half-ghosts. It would be a shame to leave your father's work unfinished, wouldn't you say? Well, you ain't gonna finish him. Yep, there you go. What's this? Grab attack! I... Oh, I little bit remember this guy, because I remember how he looks. A uh, living plant planet 
He's a living planet. Okay, that's what I meant. Um, and then gravity powers. Okay. You can't face through gravity. How long can you hold him? Long enough. He's all yours. All right. First question. How? Huh? What's going on? I'm free. How? Gravity does not exist outside of time. Oh, this How is... How was your reunion? My suit tore. We'll get you a new one. Come. We have a meeting with our other associates. Oh, okay. Great. This dimension! What? Wait. What? Uh, where'd he go? What the hell, Ben? You said you had him! Dude, he's your bad guy. How can I know he can break physics? He can't. This doesn't feel right. If you really did have him pinned, then something else must have helped him escape. Yep. Maybe a teleporter? But why? All he did was fight us, then run. Didn't seem like he was after anything. There must have been something I missed. I should have paid more attention. Whatever it is, we got this. We're heroes, remember? The, I I already I'm, I love this series. Plum Rage Cube. Okay. Oh my God! They're bringing this Gurren as Zim. Oh. Was your mission successful? I did not expect this. Good job, Gurren. I'm sending a transporter rim to your location now. I did not expect this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna make the series even better. Oh, I did not expect that at all. Oh, I just can't wait for more now. I did not expect Zim and Gur out of all characters they were gonna use. Uh, Cause I don't. I guess I didn't look in here. Did it? Yeah, I didn't even say Zim and Gur's. Wait, six years. Wait, kill him. Kill him. Cough. Wait, kill him. Cough. Voice. Uh, this one. Who is that though? Cause I know who Kill him. Cough is that. Or and I think it's Cough. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's the voice actor of like Fun Day Freddy and stuff. Oh, this is. Oh, okay. So he voiced this character in the thing. Interesting. And if y'all didn't know what I meant, I meant I meant this guy, yeah. He voiced in it. That's interesting. Yeah, he voiced Glamrock Freddy, Sun and Moon, uh, and Fun Freddy. But wow, I did not know that. That's cool. Okay. Um I don't, there might be other people in here that I might know, but I don't that not that I can remember. But I already am. I'm. I literally can't wait for the next series. I, I'm pretty sure episode three is the latest one. Yeah, looking at their thing, it's episode one, two, and three. Um, and then other videos. Um, I didn't watch the trailer, so like I didn't know anything about this. Um, but now, uh, I I can't wait for the episode four. So yeah, uh, go to this guy's channel, subscribe. Uh, like each one. I forgot to like them. Like this video. Oh, and uh, like this one. Yeah, like all of them. Go to this guy's channel. I'm already like I just can't wait for the next one. Like, uh, I'm gonna react to the next one on this channel. For for sure, I definitely am. So, whenever it comes out, you will be uh getting a reaction to it. Um, so yeah, can't wait. Um, sorry there wasn't much commentary. I don't know what to say. Because, like, it's like a comic book. I don't know what to say because I'm, like, too busy, like, reading and stuff. Except I'm not reading in this one because it's voiced. But, like, yeah. Um, can't wait until the, the next one comes out. I'm interested in the, uh, in Zim and, or, not Zim. Is it Zim? I don't know. I'm interested in, in Peter's Zim. Yeah, Zim and Gur. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed my reaction to 
um, the five years later, uh, three episodes, um, I can't wait for more to come out, and I hope y'all have an amazing day, and see y'all later.